Hey, this is Steve Morrison, and this video is about how to build a 5 volt USB powered version of the push on, push off soft latch circuit that was described in the previous video, number video number 18. Essentially, it is a push button circuit that is the electronic version of a mechanical toggle switch push button toggle switch so it's a soft latch press it once the LED comes on press it again the LED goes off this is the original circuit here this circuit was now this 5 volt version here was um, was developed upon request from one of my viewers who wanted to just take the 12 volt version and reduce the voltage down to 5 volts and they asked if they could do that I said well you can try but I don't think it's going to work because simply reducing the voltage from 12 volts to 5 volts in that circuit in the original circuit would change the characteristics, the overall operational characteristics of the circuit because of these transistors here, these PN junctions here, the reduction, the overall reduction would be nonlinear in voltage, uh, its effect on the voltages and currents in the circuit because at 5 volts these PN junctions make up a larger percentage of the total voltage than, the, than would be at uh, 12 volts. So I went through the circuit and decided on which components to change so that it was operationally equivalent to the 12 volt circuit and made it a 5 volt version. I also made some improvements here so that the it, it had a little bit more tolerance to a bouncy switch uh, so that the frequency the frequency response was you know such that if you press the button too quickly it's not going to work properly and that kind of simulates a bouncy switch so you just press it at a normal rate that you know works just fine it's uh, very user friendly so the components that I changed this is the original circuit here were R1, R3 and R4 um, essentially that's the biasing for Q1 and the collector current for Q1 which is also the base current for Q2 and I changed this resistor over here to provide a little bit more tolerance for a bouncy push button switch. So these were these are, these resistor values were changed. So this is the new circuit here and for anyone who hasn't seen video number 18 I'll go ahead and go through the how this circuit works. So when you first power it on I'm going to go ahead and shut it off. I cut the power off to it. Okay, I've just turned the power on to it. So it defaults to off. So this transistor here is off. Uh, now this is simply just a, this stage right here is simply just an inverting stage and so to, that it does default to off and it also is a stage which provides a lower output impedance. So you could actually bring this resistor, the output resistor as low as 470 ohms without an LED or you could power a relay that had a 470 ohm coil. Uh, what you would want to do for this output stage is you want to have about at least a 50 to 1 or less ratio between the base resistor and the collector resistance much higher than that and then you then you stand the chance of taking this transistor and putting it into its active region where we want this either to be in cutoff or saturation so in order to do that uh, this 10k resistor if you wanted to use a relay say that had a, a 100 ohm coil that would be 50 milliamps through this 2 n 3904 which is okay but you probably want to push it much higher than that but if you're going to have a 100 ohm resistor there, um, then you're going to want to reduce this resistor value here so that it's going to be about a, a, a 50 to 1 or less ratio. 
and so that would be a, a 5k resistor so that's what I would uh, or 4.7k resistor or more common value that's what I would do if you're going to use a, a lower impedance output such as a relay but you could also use an optocoupler and drive you know pretty much whatever you want or how you know, however you want to use the circuit the output circuit so let's just forget about this part right here let's cover this up to describe how this circuit works and so if this defaults to off that means that this defaults to its low state here which means that this transistor defaults to its on state. So this is approximately zero volts when you first turn the circuit on. Okay, so that's approximately zero volts. If that's zero volts, then that's zero volts, very low voltage, probably about 0.25 volts, is going to be biasing this transistor here at a, at a, it's going to be pulling this low essentially and not only that we also have this 470k resistor here to help pull it low so this transistor is going to be off if this transistor is off then this voltage right here is going to be the supply voltage 5 volts so if you have 5 volts here 5 volts is, is going to be charging this capacitor right here based on this time constant and that time constant is important in terms of, of debouncing the uh, push button so this capacitor is going to charge up to 5 volts so that's 5 volts this transistor is off this is being held low so that's the, that's the initial state you got 5 volts right here that's the initial state and when this is on this is this LED is off Okay, so that's our initial state. Now, when you go to push the button, what happens is that 5 volts, you, since you cannot, um, so this, this resistor here is going to discharge that capacitor, you can't discharge a capacitor instantaneously, so 5 volts is going to try to appear right here. So that's going to turn this transistor on. It's going to bias this transistor so that it's, for, it's momentarily going to be on. If that transistor is for an instant going to be on, this goes low. And what that does, that pulls this transistor, the base of this transistor low, and turns this transistor off. If this transistor is off, then this voltage goes high. When this button was pressed, this base was pushed high, turned this transistor on, and now this circuit has latched, and this is now positive. We have a current flowing through here and through that PN junction and forward biasing it. Now it's keeping that transistor on. And now this transistor is kept on. If this stays low, this transistor, this transistor stays off. All right, so what happens to this capacitor over here? Well, if this transistor is on, then this goes down to about 0 to 0.25 volts right here at the collector. We have current flowing through here, and we have a voltage drop across R3, about well, around 0.25 volts. So this capacitor is going to discharge the rest of the way through this, and the voltage here is going to be very low, about 0.25 volts on the top of that capacitor. So now we know this circuit is latched so that this is in its off state here. This is on, this is off, and if this is off, then this is on. That LED comes on. That's our, that's our on state. Okay, so we push the, we have, at this point we've pushed the button one time. We've turned it on. Now, if we're going to push it again, that 0.25 volts is going to cause this 0.7 volts to drop down to 0.25 volts. Just for a moment. But it's just enough to turn this transistor off. Once this transistor turns off, it's off. This voltage goes high again. It turns this transistor on. This transistor is this transistor is on, it keeps this low because this voltage is low again and it latches this, this circuit is latched again in its new state to where this transistor is off, this one is on, and this one is off and that LED is off. And then the cycle continues. So that's how that circuit works. 
there. That's the latching five volt version. And it makes sense that somebody would request this circuit because there's a lot of reasons why someone would want, would want to use a five volt version for digital circuits, maybe USB powered, etc. So that's the five volt version of the push on, push off soft latch circuit. Comments or questions are always welcome on the video. And if you like this video, please give it a, a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already subscribed to this channel. Thanks for watching. I do actually recommend this power supply right here. This is a great low cost programmable power supply that has a resolution, a, a set and display resolution of one millivolt and down to one milliamp. It's a 61 volt supply, maximum three amps and allows you to toggle the output on and off so that when you're working on circuits you can make changes to that circuit with impunity and um, switch it back on when you're when you're done. I hope you found this video helpful and informative. If you did, please like this video and subscribe to this channel. For more information about this project as well as recommended breadboarding equipment, best practices, and safety tips, please go to breadboardcircuits.com.